Hello everybody, this is Pam with the Paper Outpost and I'm just working along in this composition and notebook journal. And um, I am just got a little bit inspired this morning. I came across um, some note, sticky notepads or just notepads, small papers. And I thought, got some different ones here. These are just random ones that I've collected over time. Um, they might be fun to make some things out of to add to this journal. And, uh, let's see, here's a bigger one. It doesn't have a sticky back. That might work well. Maybe this one, even though it has a sticky back top, I think we can work around it. But I thought I'd make some tiny envelopes out of these just to kind of see how they come out. And, um... It's not too hard to work with a square piece of paper to make an envelope. Um, all right, let's just make an envelope. So I'm going to fold, let me actually put this on here. It might be easier for you to see. So fold it up about two thirds of the way. And then, oh, let's see. Now I'm going to take these together like that because I'm trying to get them to fold at the same place. And this is a little trick. Hold it this way, take your two ends together, if you can, <laughs> get them aligned, and then make a little fold together, and then pull them apart. And then they should be folded at the same place, we shall see. I'd have to back fold this one coming in, back fold this one. Maybe I didn't bring them close enough to, oh, actually we're gonna put this on the outside. So these are gonna go in. This is going to go up, okay? Now this you can either leave as is or you can turn it this way or you can tuck it in. I think I'm going to tuck it in. If I'm lucky, I can get it straight. I'll just pull it down, fold it straight. How about that? All right, so there's a cute little envelope. And if you want, you can ink it up a little bit, give it a little bit of color in there, maybe around the edges, darken it up a little bit. And I've got a few things that I pulled out that I might want to put in tiny little envelopes. This you can pull it down, and that will be your flap. But I might even put this one right side up and glue to a page. I think it might be cute. All right, so we're gonna need a little bit of glue, just a little bit. And let's see, this is Fabrifix glue. How's everybody doing today? Are you having a happy uh, paper day today? I hope so. And that's pretty much it with the glue on that. So there you go, you got your cute little envelope. And you could store anything in here like, um, where are we at in this journal? I'll go through here a little bit. Uh, is that a good view for you? I think so. Oh, okay, right in there. Okay, start pulling apart some of these. There we go. It's got that good, great crinkly sound. Love that. Um, so we can put these maybe on a page. You can put one on a page, multiples on a page. And you can even do a little extra. It can be a pocket or an envelope onto itself and just paper clip to a page or tucked into a pocket or it can become another pocket. If I put that there, um, let's see, where is my, I'm just going to emphasize this edging up a little bit with the black distress ink black soot color. Okay. And then I could come along and I, for example, you could put anything in here. Maybe I'll put this little Kodachrome slide in there. And then just by the nature of its design, you could also put something behind it. So maybe what I could do is I could, I could put this came with a uh, like a, a whole little set here so maybe I could put a complementary colored piece of paper here this does have the sticky back but that's going to be okay if I fold it correctly I can use the sticky back to hold the paper in place 
There we go. Now I can tuck that in there. And I can even put some of these little things. These might be cute in there. Maybe I'll just take two or three, like a little clump of them. And maybe you have some of these hanging around. Often we pick up these things along the way if we're um, in thrift stores, picking up little bits and bops. It happens, right? They jump into our carts. I totally, I totally understand. I can relate. So maybe... Okay. I don't know. Maybe I won't even tuck these here. Give them their own little unique spot. Something like that. Um, and we could leave that as is, or we could do more with this page. Um, I do like this pretty stencil design. Maybe we'll do something with that at the top. I don't even know what. I think this is a brown. I'm just going to just a little bit of brown. Um, subtleness, not intense, but just a little bit with this paddle brush for the top. And then maybe, just maybe, okay, here is Distress Oxide Vintage Photo. This has a little more kick to it because it has the oxide in it, which means it has some pigment added to the dye. So pigment, um works a little bit different than dye, will wash away with water and that, but pigment is like almost like crystallized rock uh, in general, uh, as far as I understand it. And um, it doesn't really dissolve, but you can move it, it with water. It will physically move, but it won't dissolve itself. But it, uh, I found that if you're gonna purchase, like if you're trying to decide best bang for your buck, I found that the oxides will give you more intense color uh, they will last longer. For me, they've lasted longer. Um, they also do react with water, I think, because of the dye component that will move with water. And also, but they will take a little bit longer to dry on your paper, but really it's almost insignificant. I mean, there's nothing coming back on my fingers here, so it's pretty darn fast, but it does take a little bit longer. I like that. Actually, I think I'm going to darken down this page. And because it's bumpy behind it, it's picking up the raised mountains and the valleys a little differently than the, the the valleys. The mountains are popping up and the valleys down. So you're getting this aged look to the page, which looks kind of cool. All right, so we got that done. That was kind of fun. Oh, here we have another envelope. I love using envelopes in books. I think it's so much fun. And, um, you know, envelopes are, I mean, journals are very unique. We all have our own way of decorating them. And it's all good. Okay, this is a double pocket envelope that I made. So there's the front pocket, here's the divider. And then maybe I'm gonna put, I have this really cool picture, this old picture of, it was a gathering of women. It could be at a school or a, a party or the women's club. Maybe it's the women's club, I don't know. But it's an awesome picture. I think I'm going to tuck it here. Just as a nice little explorer to find for somebody. They can come along and find that. There we go, okay. Oh, love that sound. And I love the way the coffee makes these pretty little designs. It's all different on every page. Um, something definitely fun to work with. Um, let's see, what do we have here? We have another little square paper. Square papers are very easy to turn into things. Um, and here we go again. We'll just do this again about two-thirds of the way up. And then fold in half, get these two ends to meet. And then give them a fold. And that way we will know where they match. I feel like I should fold deeper than that. I think this is a bigger piece of paper. We'll go to there, let's say there. Okay. And with the magic of origami, <laughs> we are now folding here. Okay, for this little envelope design. Okay, we're going to pull this paper out. Put this in, in, up. And I'm gonna glue it. And I would recommend gluing here so you don't get glue all over the place. You only put it where you need it. Okay. And then this one I'm going to pull down in front 
make it more of a white. Okay. But I think I want to color that. So, I'm going to come back. There we go. And maybe we can even do this black on the inside. That might look really cool. Don't even mind coloring onto the page because it gives the page some more depth and darkness. I love grunging and dirtying up the pages in this uh, gothic meaning dark and gloomy to me gothic style journal. journal. I looked up gothic the other day on the podcast because somebody said they didn't know why this journal was gothic. And I guess gothic can be um, a people, a, a time period, a place, also new gothic from today with the, the black dress and um, darkness, foreboding, uh, gloomy kind of um, aesthetic. So that's, that's what I was meaning. Um, kind of like mysterious, but not bloody or gory. You know, we're coming close to Halloween, so I thought it'd be fun to do a, a dark and mysterious sort of uh, um, journal. And let's see, we've got this little wooden piece. Now, we did find some wooden pieces the other day. This is kind of cool. Maybe I'm just going to glue that on there. That would be sort of cool. Uh, and sometimes when these pieces come together on your desk, that's when they form their final... Uh, you know, creations. You don't even know until you just put a few things together. There's something about um, just putting a few things on your desk and looking at them and saying, asking yourself, what can I make from this? And uh, sometimes magic happens and you get lucky. All right. All right. I think I'm going to do the same with this one. I need my black. Of course, it's hiding from me. There you are, my black. Okay. What fell? Ugh, my black dauber. Of course, hold on, I'll be back. All right, here we are. Somebody the other day told me that they liked the sound and the visual of my desk. Not the, the mess, but I think they were saying that they could see it well, which was good to know, thank you. I know not everybody likes a messy desk, um, and that's okay. Uh, we all craft a little differently and there we go I think that looks kind of cool all right maybe I'm gonna put you in the middle you in the middle and uh, maybe maybe I'm not gonna put you in the middle maybe I'm going to I'm gonna turn you into a paper clip how about that Okay, so if I'm going to do that, I'm going to need a piece of paper, of which I have these little pieces of paper. Let's see if I could use one of those skinny ones, which I have a million of. I don't know if that'll be enough. Okay, so if you were going to be a paper clip and you wanted to clip on the side, you would have to be there. And that means that um, you can either pull, use the little or the big ring to grab your items. And I think what I'm going to do is use the big so I'm going to separate that a little bit and what I want to do is glue this down here okay so I am going to put some what is a scotch permanent glue stick this is the new one apparently okay probably should do some I got a funny feeling I should use Fabrifix here just give it a little extra strength okay so I'm going to put that there Okay, and then we are going to put this here. You could use any scrap little piece of paper. Maybe I'm going to use two of these. So I've got lots of glue there. Here to the back. Okay. I'm going to fold it back in place. This will become a paper clip. I think I need to bend that a little bit more. Let me actually take it out. 
Let me use a new one. How about that? I think I bet that one funny. All right, so I'm going to put the little one on the bottom. I, I think it's just going to slip right in now. Oops. I have now just mastered the art of gluing it shut. Okay, it's back open. Okay, there we go. There. Okay, so now it rests nice and flat. This piece will catch on here. There we go. And now we're going to put a little lovely in it. And that could be anything at this moment today. Um, I have these. I have a lot of options here. This might be kind of fun, but that might be kind of fun. Too. I've got this cool little ticket, the Senate Theater. 40 cents. Boy, that was a good deal. Too bad the date on it, but I can see. But a cute little ticket nonetheless. I'm going to put you in here. And I can fit more in there. Maybe I can put this in here. This is a, um, I believe this is a Russian um, vocabulary card. Okay. And I put this little ticket in there too. That's kind of cute. There we go. So you can you can load that up with a whole bunch of things. Um, maybe I will even add one of these pretty papers. And again, I will fold it up. Oops, look like at that right. For a little extra writing place for somebody. And there we go. So you can stuff and tuck and use them as pockets and tucks and things like that. So that's just a fun little design. I um, thought it might be fun. Oh, this is, I think that's, mm, you might fit in there. It could be tight, but we'll see. Okay. This is a really pretty um, Victorian calling card, and often these opened here. This one looks like it was, uh, in, thy in thy welfare I rejoice. Isn't that nice? When's the last time you said that to somebody? In thy welfare I rejoice. Try that today. Feel free to use it. Uh, I'm going to tuck this in here. If it fits. Yep, there we go. All right, so that'll be a nice little uh, pleasure-filled pocket to enjoy. Uh, be one more little stamp. So you can really load them up, and these can easily be removed to debulk the journal if one so chooses, but I like to create explore journals with lots of fun and unusual things inside of them. Um, so that was a fun page to do. We did that page. Yeah. So, um... Okay, hang on one second. All right, I have found somebody uh, lur lurking in the shadows. Hello, this is Sunshine Pup Cub Reporter. I'm lurking in the shadows, and I would like to let you know that I had a fluff stuck to my nose today, and it was tickling me, and Mom removed it. All is well. Um, that's the big report, and I wish you all the best. Happy crafting, and just go out there and have some papery fun. It's all good. It's all good. Sunshine, out. Well, there you go, folks. That was a very deep report from Sunshine this morning. Um, hoping all is well with you, and thank you very much for being here. Uh, welcome to my channel if you are new, and if you've been here before, welcome back. I have a free monthly emailed newsletter that comes out. Um, and uh, you can sign up for that on the drop down description box below or here is a link to all my links if you need a link to go to and um, you get a free digital image emailed to you every month a checklist of supplies a note from the bookmaker which explains what a junk journal is and how to use it and um what's that called uh oh that'd be neat yeah oh, okay and also um does it see this happens you see that we got a bubble yeah, yeah, we're getting to the, the lower. So we've got it let's hit it about down halfway with Fabrifix, and that happens sometimes because it gets thicker and wants to volcano out your top. A joy of crafting. Um, I'm turning this into a pocket. 
And um, also, my videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Saturdays, Sundays, 7 a.m. Eastern Time. My podcasts come out Tuesdays and Thursdays. New audio material about junk journaling, answering your crafty questions. Um, and I like this braille paper. Uh, and also, um, uh, you can find journals and bundles and kits and bundles in my Etsy shop. I also have digi kits, which are printable, downloadable images in themes, uh, birds, Victorian, dragonflies, butterflies, um, the holidays, Halloween, Christmas, all sorts of fun things. Uh, and um, there's over almost 300 now you can pick from. Um, if you don't like to print or don't have a printer, I will print them out for you. I have a print and mail service. All you do is pick out 10 DigiKit names. I only need the first two or three words. And just buy the print and mail option. And then I will print those out for you and mail them to you. Free priority mail shipping with that. And I have an Amazon shop if you're looking for favorite tools and supplies that you see me use here on the Paper Outpost. I do my best to put links in there for you. And um, that does help my shop, but you do not pay more for the items for using my links. Thanks so much for your support. And also, I have a merchandise shop. If you like the phrase, create with reckless abandon, or everything is a craft supply until proven otherwise, you can get that on a t-shirt, a sweatshirt, a zip hoodie, a mug tote, or water bottle. Uh, great for gift giving as well. And also remember, most of all, that fun can be simple. And create with reckless abandon, everybody. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.